Yeah, yeah. Backlash against this film's violence is unfair. Everything has violence. We've had violence in movies since we've had movies. And before that, it was in books and play acting. Hello, everyone. I am MechaRandom42, your favorite YouTube harpy. And that's... It's an R-rated movie. It's going to be violent. And, you know, okay, I get it. I get why... I get kind of why they want to, you know, maybe reuse some caution. I get... It. I'm from Colorado, right? They're, they're trying to relay this and, and compare this to the Aurora shooting. I'm from Colorado. I live not too far from that theater. I actually been to that theater. I saw Star Trek Nemesis there. I used to live down the street from that movie theater. There was a mall there. Not, not a terrible area of Denver to live in. And Aurora is a suburb. It's kind of like an east suburb of Denver. It's not It's not terrible. It's not the best. But I get it that, that people might be a little sensitive to that. But if you think you're really sensitive to that, maybe don't see the movie. You know? And, and not only that, I don't think it really has that much gun violence in this movie at all. Right? It's a Joker movie. This isn't John Wick. So, so here, the, the director. Now, now, this is also right after Joaquin Phoenix has been interrogated, basically. And he's walked out of interviews because of this crap. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's a movie. Sometimes, even as somebody like me, sometimes you just got to kind of go past this. And I not, I don't want to be, I don't want to sound insensitive to the victims of actual, you know, tragedies like this. I don't. I'm not. I really am not. I feel for you guys. It's not the movie's fault. Stopping one movie will just mean he'll go and watch the next or they'll go watch the previous ones, right? We were always going to have stuff like this. We had Natural Born Killers when I was a kid and before that, Bonnie and Clyde. And before that, you know, Cowboys and Indians. You had the Westerns. You had war movies. You had all of these things. And before that, you know, it was the Crusades. So we were out murdering each other in the name of an uh, invisible man in the cloud because, you know, the other guy's invisible man in the cloud, does, does it doesn't say the same thing that ours does. I don't know. I don't care. I don't talk about politics ball, religion ball, or, or, or sports ball. So this stuff, leave it out of the movies, right? Really, really, please leave it out of the movies. And I get it. I get that you guys don't want that to happen. This is a very rare special circumstance that, that that happened for. And if it wasn't the the Dark Knight, it would have been any movie. It could have been any other superhero movie. But yes, quite frank, frankly, if you do your own research in, in Aurora, the gentleman wasn't even going as the Joker. That was misreported. His hair is dyed red. Um, and he was having, obviously, a mental breakdown. There's something horrifying about it, but it wasn't related to it, uh, but it wasn't related to it of, uh, outside of the fact that it happened as a movie theater, uh, probably at a movie at that movie theater. This is not the thing the movie is trying to represent. The movie still takes pl takes place in a fictional world. It can have real world implications, opinions, but it's a fictional character Ooh, in a fictional yeah, world. Also, right. thank you for subscribing. And if you guys do ever want to subscribe, definitely if you, if you just subscribe you know while you're watching a video you never know i might be recording and share thumbs up bell all the things so you get your little shout outs thank you so much the movie still takes place in a fiction world fictional world the it's a fictional character in a fictional world that's been around for 80 years the one that bugs me more is the toxic white male thing. When you go, oh, I just saw John Wick 3. He's a white male that kills 300 people. And everybody's laughing and hooting and hollering. Why does this movie get held to different standards? It doesn't make sense. Exactly. Well, and, and that's the other thing. John Wick movies. I love the John Wick movies. Huge fan of them. I don't like guns. I just don't. I can't. I can't be around them. I don't like them. That being said, this has nothing to do with any of anything, right? And for the record, yeah, you know, if, you know, if you got the license and you're you're so inclined and you want the sport, yeah, and you want the meat, go go hunt, whatever. I can't do it. I could not personally. I don't like guns personally at all. And and here's the thing: we don't need to be traveling around with assault rifles in the United States. We don't have a handgun to protect yourself. Whatever, something for something for hunting, something for sport things, something for protection. What? Good, good. I'm a liberal. I'm not trying to take anything away from anybody. But this is just, it was ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. They're trying to, we're, we're going back to the days when we're blaming Mortal Kombat for, for violence. You know, Beavis and Butthead had a really great take on this. 20 years ago, probably 25 years ago now, maybe even more. They wrote an episode, well, Mike Judge wrote an episode 
where Beavis and Butthead end up in the hospital because they're emulating what they saw on TV. And what that thing was that they saw on TV was a documentary about Ben Franklin. And we know how he uh, flew a kite in an electrical storm and that's how he uh, figured out how to harness l electricity. Yeah. And they ended up getting, you know, g getting hit by lightning. Point is, you cannot outlaw everything for fear of some moron imitating it. Right? We got to find, and we got to catch some of those signs like a little earlier. Like in the instance of James Holmes, who wrote letters to his psychiatrist who, that were ignored. Where he said, hey, I really need to talk to you. Hey, I want to hurt people. And that's what he said. And those were ignored. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we should outlaw psychiatrists. Maybe we should outlaw shrinks for not listening to warning signs and cries for help directly when people write them letters and not blame movies. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going there. I'm going there because you know what? I watched that trial. I studied that case. And, and what's, what's even more d disturbing is that some of the victims are now getting, getting wrapped into this. They're, getting, they're going through this all over again. They're going through this all over again because of this movie because you, media people, are trying to tie this in to something that I'm sure a lot of them want to move past. I'm sure a lot of them. But I mean, at least they're saying, please donate to a victim charity. So at least they're doing that. Right? I don't need to see a picture of James Holmes. I need to see a Joker promo. And I see a picture of the killer, said Sandy Phillips, who's 24-year-old, was, was, was slain. That's, and that's terrible. Obviously, we, we don't want to make light of the victims of that tragedy but at the same time it doesn't have anything to do with this movie nothing to do with this movie and if you go even to go to go to his wikipedia joker didn't have orange hair joker didn't have orange hair this guy this kid went through a mental breakdown after studying neuroscience he's going to be a neuroscience uh doctorate he's in a doctoral program not only that, he was studying things to figure out ways to make your brain respond as though you're living in a dream world. So you could have superpowers in your mind. So you could, you could live in this sort of altered state. You could basically live in a hallucination, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But he was altering your brain so you could live inside of this fake reality, inside of a dream world. That is not something, that has nothing to do with this movie. <laughs> Right? That has nothing to do with this movie. Not only that, he's not a very stable individual. Clearly. When the cops went up to them and said, oh, you're the Joker, he's like, yeah. He had orange hair, though. He didn't know what he was doing. I think he knew what he was doing enough to, like, know that it's... Yeah, I think he knew a little bit. But that guy was not in there. And I'm not defending him. I'm really, really not. I hope everybody involved can get, you know, the help and closure and everything that they need. I hope... But, but seriously, it has nothing to do with this. And not only that... Not only that, now, of course, IndieWire and everywhere else are saying U.S. military troops, or the U.S. military warns troops about possible <laughs> Joker incel violence and no credible threats reported. Why do you have to use the word incel? Why? Because guess what? Some of these article writers are probably more incels than the people that they're writing about because the people they're writing about actually have successful YouTube channels. Look at my last video on Captain Marvel that went out there. How these media are actually just jealous of us because we get clicks and they don't. And that's why they kind of go with these ridiculous spins on their articles. But yeah, so of course the military has sent a memo to service members warning about the possibilities of violence and blah, 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 blah. And, and you know, it's good to be cautious. It is, I, I will give them that. It's good to be cautious and say, hey, something happened bad before. We don't want a repeat of it. That I can understand, but the, nobody is going around wanting to hurt anybody with this movie. People want to move. We want escapism more than ever now because we don't like living, dealing with all the real world stuff. And, and you know, I've been out, I've been out this week for the you know, past few days dealing with like real world stuff and people don't talk about crazy social justice issues. You know, they're just out at breakfast talking about like what sports ball team did what the night before or what they're going to order or, you know, people are not obsessed with this stuff. Like the media seems to think we are. And if you only focus on that, then we're going to lose the entertainment industry. And that's fine. YouTubers can come in and sneak in. And this is why indie comics are doing so well. And we're just going to have to make our own films independent of Hollywood and Hollywood can go and appeal to the masses 
But I think we all we all kind of know what's up with this. And I'm so tired of living in a day and age where they just want to make everything exactly as it was in 1991. You know, when people were panicking about Mortal Kombat, when people were panicking about records. We were going around censoring record labels. The, the other crazy thing that I've been hearing about this, and I don't have an article, sorry about that, to pull up to kind of reference, is that people now want to be warned. They want warnings on the movies. They want, oh, we should be warned if it's going to have this or that. Yeah, it's called a rating. It's called a rating system. All right. If it's rated R, that means maybe snowflakes are going to be offended by something. Right. Right. And, and that's kind of how we're getting where you, you, I wouldn't mind a warning label saying, hey, this movie is just all orange man bad. And if you don't want politics ball, don't watch it. That's OK. I'm fine with that. that. That was a good warning for Knives Out, by the way, the Ryan Johnson movie. This we have we have ratings. It's rated R. Go just stay home if you don't want to see it. That's that's the other thing. Like if you're that offended. Don't see it, especially don't see it opening night. This is the, they changed the midnight screenings because of the Aurora thing where people they, they now no longer show the movie starting right at midnight on opening day. Now they'll start it at like, you know, six in the afternoon or four in the afternoon the, the day before Thursday before. I usually watch movies on that Thursday now because they changed it. It's a little more convenient if I need to watch a movie like a new one that's coming out. Right. This stuff. Seriously, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I am Mecha Random 42. I will see you guys on the next video, live stream, or whatever. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.